everyone, I am Dr. A. Naresh Kumar, Assistant Professor from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Insta of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to have a discussion on Silicon Control Rectifier that is SCR. So here in this, I will first I will explain basics of SCR and next symbol of SCR, construction of SCR, working of SCR, IV characteristics that means static characteristics of SCR, Next, switching characteristics, dynamic characteristics of SCR, gate characteristics and next advantages of SCR, disadvantages of SCR and applications of SCR. First, I will explain basics of SCR. So, here uh, it is a three terminal device. Here first one is, here first terminal is a anode, cathode and gate. Anode is represented with A and cathode is represented with K and gate is represented with G. And next here it is a four layer device. Here P1, P2, N1, P2 and N2. Four layers of alternate P and N. Silicon semiconductors uh, which is forming three junctions that is J1 junction, J2 junction and J3 junction. It is having three terminals, four layer and three junction device and next it is a unidirectional device means it, it allows the current only flows from anode to the cathode not from cathode to the anode. It is a unidirectional current and next it is a semi control device. We can turn on the SCR um, by uh, uh, giving gate pulse to uh, when it is forward bias and uh, when anode is positive with respect to the cathode uh, and gate is uh, when we give gate pulse and it will be turned on. So that is in our hand but uh, to turn off that SCR anode current must be less than the holding current or it, we must apply reverse voltage. So now here turn off is in it that is in our hand we need we need an external circuit so now it is a semi control device and it is a latching type so once it is uh, uh, coming from uh, SCR turn on we cannot turn off means once it is latch up means it, uh, when SCR uh, comes from forward blocking mode to the forward conduction mode that is latch up so it is a latching type device and next it is a bipolar switch means we here bipolar means we can uh, um, here bipolar means here so we which can block the switch which can block both the polarity of voltages positive and negative polarities so here safe operating area will be first and second here we can block both positive and negative polarities of voltages so it is a bipolar switch it is operated in first and second quadrant it is a semi semi uh, unidirectional only one way of current so it is in the this minus IV is not and, and next here uh, it is a solid state power device and next here it is a current control device majority carrier device and it acts as an open switch and closed switch and next it is a regenerative device these are the basics and now if you see the symbol of power diode uh, SCR so it is having anode and cathode like power uh, diode but here another extra terminal that is a uh, gate here that is G now here uh, it is a three terminal device anode cathode and gate now here it's real picture it looks like this it is a unidirectional its uh, current is always flows from anode to the cathode not from cathode to the anode and next here the construction of SCR now here it, it is uh, it is having four layers so now here first layer is a P plus layer, now second layer is a N minus layer and third layer is a P, P layer and N plus layer. Here P plus layer is a heavily dopal layer, plus indicates the heavily dopal layer, minus indicates the lightly dopal layer. So there is no sign here, so moderately dopal layer and N plus indicates the heavily dopal layer. So now it, it is having four layers of uh, alternate P and N. Uh, silicon semiconductors uh, which forms junctions. So here heavily doped layer means 10 raised to the 19 per centimeter cube and next uh, P plus region 
width is 10 micrometer and next second it is p plus region is connected with anode and next second layer is the n minus layer that is lightly doped layer that level of doping layer is 10 raised to the 14 per centimeter cube its width is depending upon breakdown voltage and next the third layer is the p layer that is moderately doped layer that level of doping is 10 raised to 17 per centimeter cube its uh, width is to 50 to 300 micrometer and next here n plus region means here 10, it is a heavily doped layer and 10 raised to the 19 per centimeter cube uh, the level of doping and its um, width is also same to 50 to 300 micrometer and this is uh, now here we have three junctions J1, J2 and J3. Between this uh, P and N one junction, this will N and P one junction and this is P and N P junction. So, three junction J1, J2, J3, three junction, four layer, three terminal device and next here the working of SCR. So, SCR works in three modes, uh, operates in three modes. First one is a forward uh, blocking mode and second one is a uh, forward con uh, forward blocking mode second one is first one is a forward uh, reverse blocking mode forward conduct forward blocking mode and forward conducting mode so in these two region so it will be uh, it acts as an open circuit and it in this region it acts as a short circuit so so now it, it is a open switch and in this two region it in this region it acts as a closed switch so SCR acts as a switch. So let us uh, discuss first forward uh, reverse blocking mode. So now here first I will explain reverse blocking mode. So now here if you see this diagram in this. So now here reverse uh, bias when uh, thyristor SCR is uh, in reverse bias means here negative terminal of the battery is connected to the anode and positive terminal of the battery is connected to the cathode. So this condition is known as a reverse bias. When SCR is in reverse bias, what will happen? So first here J1 and J3, this J1 and J3 junctions are in reverse bias and next this J2 uh, junction is in forward bias and there is uh, IG current is more, uh, IG current is zero means this is uh, this one is a uh, open. This terminal uh, gate terminal is a uh, open. In this case, what will happen? So now here, these two junctions are reverse bias. It means small amount of current. So that current in the micro ampere amount of current flows from uh, cathode to the anode. So here current flows in this direction. That is leakage current. Reverse leakage current. So now that is flows from cathode to the anode. Only small amount of current. So now here, this small amount of current offers high impedance means that it acts as a open switch. It acts as a open switch. So now this is reverse leakage current. So now here what will happen? Now increase this voltage. So now this uh, reverse vol uh, this voltage, uh, this supply voltage increase. So what will happen? Uh, at a critical point, at a critical point, that point is the reverse breakdown voltage so after uh, reaching that voltage when supply voltages reaches to that uh, reverse break voltage so when vs is supply voltage v uh, anode cathode voltage is uh, greater than vbr so now here huge amount of current flows here from cathode to the anode now here huge amount of current flows so now here uh, increasing with uh, this supply voltage so now what will happen increasing the voltage so that is independent of the supply voltage uh, and now here huge amount of current flows huge amount of current flows means i spiral the power dissipation across this thyristor scr and that power dissipation means here temperature will increases temperature increases means this will be damaged so now here uh, next case here so now when uh, never apply positive supply to this in the reverse bias in the reverse blocking mode never apply positive gate pulse to the gate so if you give the positive gate pulse to this gate what will happen 
here this junction is forward bias this junction is forward bias means this j3 junction is forward bias means here current will flows so now this leakage this current adds this leakage current and huge amount of current flows in the uh, 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 tire star. So now that huge amount of current takes place means that 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 will uh, gives the power dissipation and uh, temperature rises and power is uh, ACR may damages. So now here um, another thing is here this VBR supply voltage is always we must ensure that VBR supply this given voltage is always less than this reverse breakdown voltage so now here second condition is forward uh, in the reverse blocking mode the scr is acts as open switch very few uh, very uh, uh, small amount of current flows that is leakage current so it acts as a switch it offers a high open switch it offers a high impedance and next is a forward blocking mode second one in this so here forward blocking mode means when SCR is in forward bias and means positive terminal of the supply battery is connected to the anode and negative terminal of the battery is connected to the cathode. So now what will happen here? So now here J1 and J3 junctions are in forward bias and J2, J2 junction is in reverse bias. So now here these two are in forward bias means so here it will oppose as the current means only few amount of some only a few amount of small amount of current flows from anode to the cathode so now current flows in this so that is leakage current that is forward leakage current so now here in this the gate is open so the gate is open so now here this forward leakage current so now here this forward leakage offers high impedance in this mode also it acts as an open switch so now when will when it will be acts as a, a, a closed switch when will it will be conduct when a, when the current flows in this anode to the cathode huge amount of current um, current flows from anode to the cathode when you give the uh, gate pulse to this this uh, gate pulse to this scr so when it is in forward bias that we will see so now here so now here next forward conducting mode in this case so first uh, i will give so when for, for scr is in forward bias condition so now here i will give the positive gate supply to this gate and negative is given to the cathode so now here i am giving so in this case also same j1 junction and j3 junctions are in forward bias and J2 junction is also in forward bias. How it will be in forward bias? So now here, this is in forward bias, this is in forward bias and this junction J2 who is in reverse bias in the forward blocking mode. Now here when you give the positive gate pulse to this gate drive and next here this, there is an avalanche uh, uh, breakdown occurs at J2 junction and here so here there may be current flows and this anode to cathode there may be a current flows in this direction so now here ig must be greater than zero when you give this uh, ig amount of current if it is zero means that is open circuit means that is forward conducting forward blocking mode so in this way current flows so now here in many ways we can turn here this is it it acts as a closed switch it is acts as a short circuit. So now here, so when SCR will be turned on, so here different ways to turn off, uh, turn on the SCR, but turn off is in our hand, uh, not in our hand. So we need uh, some external devices to turn off, but here turn on methods are, first one is the gate method. So gate drive method. So first method is a, so gate triggering method, gate, triggering method so this is when uh, 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 when uh, anode and cathode is in forward bias and if you give positive gate supply uh, gate drive uh, supply to positive gate pulse to this one and second method is here so v s is greater than v b r so when this supply voltage is greater than this uh, v b o sorry 
forward break over voltage. So it first these two are initially forward bias and this is in reverse bias. So now here when you give supply voltage increasing increasing at a particular particular critical point. So now here this J2 junction avalanches means here so J2 junction breakdowns and current flows in this. So now even though we are not giving the J8 pulse and so here so these three junctions are in forward bias and next here current flows from anode to the cathode. In this case also in the gear drive if it is uh, Vs is uh, less than Vb, uh, Vbo and when you give the gate pulse then also current flows. These, these are second method and third method is the most uh, uh, important one dv by dt triggering. Triggering method means here so now here when you give the supply to this one positive and negative these two are in forward bias so now here there may be a so now here this is anode and there may be this one here anode and gate there may be internal capacitance and next here gate and cathode there, there is another capacitance so now sometimes may uh, suddenly voltage increases suddenly uh, current increases so here sudden voltages and sudden currents and if there in the network there may be a uh, capacitor and inductor so what will happen transients occur so transients concepts already we know already we discuss we uh, we know about the transients so transients occurs when sudden changes in voltages and sudden changes in currents so when circuit having inductors and capacitor here there is a sudden change in voltage and there is a capacitance so now here there sudden changes in voltage and sudden changes in um, voltages and there is a capacitance means there may be a huge uh, voltage spikes uh, voltage spikes may be current spikes so now that current spikes uh, are added to this leakage current so the, if it is in forward bias so now that is uh, that is added to the leakage current means there may be a turn on of this leakage current means this J2 junction reverse bias uh, forward bias from the reverse bias to forward bias and it will be uh, turn on it is unwanted triggering so because of this changing voltages so now here this is false triggering uh, uh, method so now this is dv by dt so this dv by dt there must be uh, so there must be some limit so it should not be uh, increase beyond uh, it should not be greater than beyond that level so now here dv by so now to protect from the dv by dt there must be stumper circuit okay now rc circuit we must connect it up to the gate cathode and next and fourth method is a um, light light activated so now if you oh, if you expose a beam of light to this uh, gate uh, cathode uh, and so here electrons so photons of uh, light so here electrons emits and so this will triggers the gate drive so now this here current flows from anode to the cathode so it is mostly used in the lusker and a light activated scr silicon control next fifth method is a temperature triggering method means if you give uh, temperature huge amount of temperature this j2 junction from reverse bias to the forward bias and current flows from anode to the cathode this is temperature method so these are the five methods to turn on the SCR in this it will act as a short, um, closed switch closed switch first one is a gate triggering method and second one is a so supply voltage is greater than uh, uh, forward break over voltage dv by dt triggering and next light um, uh, light um, light emitting uh, method and next here temperature method and next if you draw the uh, IV characteristics uh, uh, for uh, this um, SCR so now if you draw the graph between uh, anode voltage and anode current VAK and next here um, here in this case this characteristics also known as the static characteristics so now if you see the in the reverse bias voltage so these are the characteristics so now here when uh, SCR in reverse bias 
So J1 and J3 junctions are inverse reverse bias and J2 junction is forward bias. There may be a small amount of current flows. So now here this is P. So that small current is the reverse uh, leakage current. The, that is le reverse leakage current. Uh, reverse leakage current. That current is known as a reverse leakage current. That is in uh, micro amperes. So now here this uh, it, in that case that is acts as a open switch that offers the high impedance. So this region is a reverse blocking mode. So now when the uh, anode voltage is greater than uh, reverse breaking voltage. So now here this voltage is greater than voltage huge amount of current flows means we J1 and J3 junctions are in uh, fr J1 junction, uh, J3 junctions, uh, avalanches and breakdowns and that voltage is the VBR. So now here huge amount of current flows. So now this is PQ. So now this region is known as a uh, reverse avalanche region. This one is a reverse blocking mode. And next in the forward bias condition, in the forward bias condition here, very small amount of current flows means J1 and J3 junctions are in forward bias and J2 junction is reverse bias. Only small amount of current flows that is forward leakage current. So now when anode current, uh, anode uh, cathode current uh, exceeds this forward breakover voltage. So now here the J2 junction is avalanches and the J2 junction breakdowns and uh, that uh, breakdowns and current flows in the SCR. In that case, um, that uh, anode cathode voltage decreases. So now, when you give the gate current, so this 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 is uh, this uh, this is M. So this is a forward blocking condition. So now, when you give the gate pulse to uh, gate drive, so uh, by giving gate pulse, so the thyristor early uh, becomes um, uh, triggers where it becomes forward blocking mode to the forward conduction mode early it comes to the early so now increase the gate current and uh, here uh, and next increase so now by increasing the gate current so the uh, cr will become from uh, forward conduction mode to the uh, forward blocking mode to the forward conduction mode earlier now here this is uh, 0 is uh, uh, less than IG, so IG1 is IG3 is greater than IG2 is greater than IG1 is greater than 0. So now here, so current flows in the anode current. So now this is K. So this is uh, MN and this is K. So now here, so when, uh, when it is SCR turn on means current increases and voltage decreases VAK. So now here initially up to forward blocking mode, so it is uh, VBO and it will decreases when it is turn on and current will increases. So now here next case, here we have it is a non-linear because voltage current characteristics are not straight line and not passing through the origin and next safe operating area first time third quadrant. So now here it acts as a open switch and closed switch. Here we have two terms latching current. So minimum uh, amount of uh, forward current that flows to the SCR to keep, keep it in forward conduction mode. So that is I L latching current. So at the time of triggering, so forward uh, current is always less than the anode current. So it will not be conduct. So if anode current is less than this uh, latching current, is, it will not be Conduct. This is latching current. Another one is once it is latched up and so it's the SCR is in turn on. So it will not be, it will, when we, if you, even if you remove the gate pulse also, it will not be, comes from forward conduction mode to the forward blocking mode. So how it will be, it comes from forward conduction mode to the forward uh, blocking mode. So if I anode current is less than, holding current so that so holding current means so not this one this is holding current is the smallest amount of uh, uh, current under which uh, anode uh, current has to drop to turn off the state uh, 
turn off status. So now here I H is associated with the turn off and I L is associated with turn on. Now here I L is always greater than I S. So this point is most important. And next case here gate characteristics of SCR. So now here this is one uh, uh, anode and cathode uh, gate. So now here so we need to give uh, some you know, protection to this. Um, so now here anode uh, gate current and gate voltage that must be in a specified limits. So that we will see. So this gate characteristics are drawn between IG current and this gate uh, anode gate current gate uh, gate voltage so now here so here in the scr in the scr uh, pn pn so this is connected to the gate so now here this last one is a like it acts as a p gate cathode gate in between the gate cathode uh, it is similar to the gate car gate current cathode characteristics also same similar to the pn junction diode forward bias condition like so now here same so it graph should be same so this is ig and vg so ig and vg uh, i uh, if you draw the voltage current i and v so the graph is also same here i1 current means here so lowest values that must be applied to turn on SCR. and this is i uh, highest values that must be uh, safely applied to the so i think this is uh, 2 and this is 1. So now here, uh, here there may be a spread means scatter. So now here uh, for a particular uh, type of SCRs, so IG and VG characteristics that has spread between curve 1 and curve 2. So now here because of this, so this spread is due to uh, in advent difference in the dropping levels of P and N layer, so P and N layers. So now here, so there must be the great circuit, the gate uh, trigger circuit must be suitable uh, to design to take care of unavoidable this spread, then scatter. So now here to we must avoid this one. So now here this one is a VG and this one is a IG minimum. So minimum amount of current and minimum amount of voltage for gate and next here VG and IG, VG and IG, so maximum and maximum. So now here if you give this is the average power, average gate power. So now if you give uh, beyond that uh, means if you give if it in, uh, if if it is to avoid the damage of SCR, so power dissipation must be uh, less than in this region only. It must not. It should not be exceed this re region. And here, next case here, it must be uh, that uh, gate and current, current and voltage must be below this range only. And here there may be a, sometimes voltage spikes in the. Mm, gate so gate so now here voltage spikes in the gate means there may be unwanted uh, false figuring dv by dt so now here that uh, because of that reason gate should not be turned on because of dv by dt rating so now minimum amount of voltage and minimum amount of so this region is the safe operating uh, re region for to turn on the scr to give the gate gate drive so now this is regarding gate characteristics so now here this is vg by rg means this is load line now dynamic characteristics what are the dynamic characteristics means switching characteristics switching characteristics means this is turn off switching characteristics means here switching characteristics means here turn on and turn off characteristics so first I will say SCR acts as a switch, it can be open circuit and it can be short circuit. So the, therefore we need to study the turn on characteristics and turn off characteristics of the SCR. 
So first, if you give the gate pulse to the uh, SCR, so when it is in forward bias, so anode is positive with respect to the cathode and if you give the gate pulse and current flows. So in the gate also current flows and uh, when you give the gate pulse and the current flows from anode to the cathode. So when the SCR is turned on, turn on, so current must be increases and voltage must be decreases. Current must be increases, gate current increases and current from leakage current to uh, Operatable, operating uh, anode current and uh, voltage is decreases. So anode current, uh, anode uh, cathode voltage must be decreases. So now this is the scenario in case of turn on. So now here turn on time is divided into three partitions, delay time, uh, rise time and spread time. So delay time means here leakage current from the leakage current to leakage current to 0.1 anode current. So from the leakage current to the 0.1 anode current, this is leakage current and this one is a 0.1, 10% no. of uh, anode current. So during which, um, during which, so that current is known as a delay time. So now here, another definition is here from the 0, 0.9 to gate current, 100% of gate current is known as a, that is, if you see the, so now here, these are the levels you see here. So now, another one is a, when during which, the time during which uh, anode voltage, anode cathode voltage to 0 0.9 voltage, this voltage. So now this voltage is from here to here. This time is known as a delay time. See this one from 0 0.9 to gate current from 0 0.9 uh, gate current to 100% uh, 1 uh, gate current and next here anode voltage to anode cathode voltage to 0 0.9 means that is 90% of and next uh, uh, anode voltage and next zero, zero, uh, leakage current to this uh, 0 0.1 anode current. So now here another definition is the rise time. So that rise time is also from 0 0.1 anode current to and 0 0.9 IA. So that anode current next 0 0.9 during which 0 0.9 anode cathode voltage to 0 0.1 anode cathode voltage. So that time is known as a rise time. Another time is the spread time is that is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 anode current to the 100% of uh, anode current and next 0 0.1 anode voltage to the VN. This is operating voltage during which. So now this uh, spread time depending upon the cross sectional area of the cathode of the SCR and next here this is spread time TD plus TR plus TA. Yes, is the that is turn on time. And next, what about turn off time means here? So, SCR is having, so first one is SCR is PN, so J1, J2, and J3, PN, PN. So, now there may be a charge carrier stored in the three junction J1, J2, J3. So, now here to remove that uh, charge carriers from the J1 and uh, J3. So there may be a time it will take, the time is the reverse recovery time and to remove that um, J2 junction, so to remove that uh, J2 junction charge carriers, so this one and so that is gate recovery, uh, it will take some time, that time is known as a gate recovery time. So some of these two times is known as a TRR plus TG is a turn off time. So now here initially when we turn off the SCR, so now it, it goes on decreasing, decreasing and it is linearly decreasing and even after it is after zero also it will decreasing like this and it goes to the maximum value and increases, increases in reverse direction in 25% of this and next it goes to zero and same way here this voltage and next here this is TRR and TGR so this duration is known as a uh, reverse recovery 
time and this duration is known as a gate recovery time. And next, what are the advantages? Here, first advantage is a very small amount of gate drive is required and it is a regenerative device. Uh, SCR with high voltage and high ratings are available. And next, on state losses in the SCR are reduced, easy to turn on. It can be protected with the help of fuse and the triggering circuit of SCR is simple and it is low and small size and it is simple to control. It is able to control AC power and more suitable for AC. And next, fast switching speed. And next, what about the disadvantages? It can conduct only in one direction. It is a unidirectional device. It can control power only during one half of AC and it cannot be used for high frequencies. Operating frequencies are very low and snubber circuit is required for dv by dt protection it dv by dt triggering means it will give unwanted triggering false triggering of scr and it has no control once scr is turned on it requires external circuit to turn off external circuit is required to turn off scr and the gate current cannot be negative and in ac circuit it needs to be turned on each cycle and next to turn on accident uh, accidentally due to it will turn on due to the high dv by dt and next these are the applications best it can be suitable for control rectifier and ac voltage rectifier lighting and heating applications motor drive and um, dc motor drives and large power supplies electronic circuit breakers and lamp dim, uh, dimmers, fan speed regulators, AC voltage regulators. And in the choppers and inverters, we will use in the battery chargers and speed control of DC and AC motors we will use. I hope all these concepts are clear to you. If you still have any doubts, you can comment in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries. Thank you. Thank you very much to you all. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.